Howdy all, I am Adam the Renaissance Nerd. Okay, total honesty here. I've been waffling since last night whether or not I was going to cover this G4 uh, dumpster fire, disaster, slap a label on it, we'll go with that. Because, full disclosure, I never watched G4 back in the day. I'm from a certain generation of gamers, a certain section of a generation of gamers where I didn't care what anybody else had to say about any game. See, back in the day, there was a thing called Blockbuster Video, where I could walk in and rent a game and decide for myself whether or not I wanted to play it, rent it more, or buy it for myself. I didn't need anybody else to tell me. I barely tolerated the video game magazines, EGM, all those ones, and eventually I got tired of them because I found their reviews and their rating systems to be worthless. And they were spoiler heavy. They ruined games before you could even play them. They would spoil crap. So I never cared what anybody else had to say. That's just the kind. That's just how I grew up playing games. I wanted to decide for myself. So I never watched G4 TV. Never cared about it. Don't know any of the personalities from it. And it was an afterthought. So I thought, do I really need to cover this? I have no grounds for it. And for the past couple of days, we've been watching this stuff blow up. But then some stuff happened last night, and now I'm seeing a couple more articles here and there that, oh boy, yeah, um, I'm going to have something to say. I have something to say, because this goes with the theme that I have been like a dog with a bone with all week. Elites, SJW elites, they hate us. They hate you, the regular person, the regular person who is the customer, who not only should watch their stuff, give them support, but buy games. This monster right here, this SJW monster, is what we have to keep out of gaming. There should be gatekeeping in gaming. We need to keep them out. Gaming. One of the biggest industries in the world right now hasn't gone full woke. We know the woke is out there. It hasn't gone full woke. We need, to, we need to fight it. We need to push back. We cannot allow people like this to be representatives of gaming. Now, we're going to watch this. I'm going to do a little commentary here and there because you've watched it, everybody else. If you haven't watched me, watch it. So let's take a look at this, and then we're going to look at, as usual, their reactions. Again, I'm parroting what other people have already covered because they got to it first and I watched their content first because I hadn't decided I was going to cover this. But I am going to cover this now. So let's listen to this, this beast. Ah, my freaking headset is very broken. Look at that. Very broken. I need a new headset now. Ay, ay, ay. This is not good. Not good at all. All right. Let's try this because this is uncomfortable. All right, here we go. Sexism in gaming. Right away. Right away. Uh, <laughs> you've turned off just about every normal gaming person out there because sexism in gaming. There, you're a moron. You are a moron. And joining G4. <laughs> here comes the affirmation. Woo! In, this is not where I thought we were going, know, but I'm here. I had no here. idea. I'm listening. But, yeah. And joining G4, I was ecstatic to be part of something that I grew up watching as a child. But every time... See, I doubt she grew up watching it as a child. I doubt it. Because the SJWs lie. They don't tell the truth. They're very fake. G4 is brought up in various channels, even in this YouTube channel, we have the chat in front of us, I can see you, without a doubt, there will be backlash because I'm not as bangable as the previous host. Well, let's be honest, you're not. The nose ring, that face, that haircut, what you're wearing, your neck tattoo, you're not attractive, my dear. You're not attractive. And honestly, sex sells. Sex sells. That's how people do it. I know that people talk about Olivia Munn, who was the old host on these shows. She was hot. I've seen the pictures. I didn't watch it, but I've seen the pictures. She was hot. And she used her hotness to attract and keep viewers. Sex sells, you moron. Let's skip ahead a little bit. 
dehumanizing and it's weird. Women do not exist to be nice on the eyes for you. Morgan Webb, Olivia. Let's be honest, real women, normal women, work very hard to be nice on the eyes for us because normal women want to attract the attention of normal men because it's kind of human nature. Physical attraction. We come together. Do little diddly diddly. And then we, uh, we procreate. The human race continues. That's kind of how it works. Just because you are an uggo and men don't want to touch you with a 20-foot pole doesn't mean the rest of the world doesn't want to get busy and doesn't want to look nice for everybody. Men want to look nice for women. Women want to look nice for men. Look, look, see, look, I, I, I shower and wash my hair before each video because I want to look good. I want to look good. I don't want to look like a, look like a, like a troglodyte in my, this, this, this headset. Really? Really? Oh, my God. You couldn't just freaking work for one more thing. Ah. Goodness. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Anyway, all right, let's keep going. Someone did not exist to be nice on the eyes for you. Yeah! Hey, she cooking, y'all. And that's just. <laughs> Soy boy. Soy boy. And we're going to get, we're going to talk about him in a minute. Just obvious sexism. You don't need to explicitly objectify women or declare that you hate women to be sexist. Just go ahead and check out Thorne's latest meltdown on Twitter for some spark notes. Now, here at X-Play, our reviews are written and produced by a team of people. Now, uh, again, I am stealing this from others because others have pointed this out. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to reiterate this point. Why are we going to believe anything you say if a team of people have written it for you? You've just discounted yourself. You've just proved you are a fake gamer girl. You have just proved you're a fake gamer girl right there. You guys watch me play games. You guys know I'm a gamer. I play games so that we can all have fun watching them right now. I don't pretend to be anything I'm not. You are clearly pretending to be something you are not if somebody else is putting the review opinion in your cow mouth. There are too many games for one person to shoulder the burden. So That's not true. That's not true. A real gamer will keep playing the games until they're done. Do it for the joy of it. And you get just one after the other. Just keep going with it. So we divide and conquer. And when we use language like we or I, that's the reviewer. That's coming from the mouth. Right, let's skip ahead again. I think we'll go right here. Those reactionary threads thinking that I'm somehow ruining your current X-Play experience because you can't objectify me how you pre- No, you're ruining an experience because you're preaching your SJW nonsense at us. That is what's ruining it. People come to these things because they want to hear opinions. They want to know if they should spend their money on a game. They're not hearing this. They're not here to, he they're not here to hear you preach that you are a powerful whammon. They're not here for that. They're here to play games. So shut up and do your job and don't preach at us. So we're going to stop watching this because I don't want to go on forever. I don't want to go on forever with this cow mouth. Oh, my poor headset. I like this one too. It was a nice one. But let's uh, now, uh, I'm going to credit, of course, Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers for reminding us always to let's take a look at their Twitter history. Get effed, Orange Man. Don't want Orange Man supporters as fans. Congratulations. You don't have me as a fan. You don't have probably millions of people as a fan because you are yammering out of your cow mouth. You're supposed to attract customers. You're supposed to attract support. The other guy, Adam Sessler. Apparently, he's the old school guy. Bounding into comics right here. Let's zoom in a little bit. G4 host Adam Sessler claims Republicans are stupid, racist, and drink piss. Briefly wished his Republican family members would die. This is your host of this show. This comes around to my entire point. Let's look at his tweets from the past. You can read it for yourself right there. Let's read it again right here. Not going to read these words because YouTube don't like it. And I'm trying to get monetized. <laughs> You look at it right, you can see it right here. They're a terrorist organization. 
And he just goes on and on. And look, look at this. You can see it. They control myself here. This is why I'm talking about this, this today. This is why I, I, I decided to make a video. These elites, SJW elites, live in an alternate reality world because they look through the lenses of race, gender, sexuality, and in this case, political ideology. We're adding a fourth lens today, and they look it all through together, and if you do not operate through their worldview, if you do not think like they do, you are an enemy. You are labeled as evil. And when you label something as evil, it's then very easy to rally people to join your cause because people don't want to be associated with things that are labeled as evil. You, sir, categorize. I'm going to categorize you as a useful idiot. You are a useful idiot ready to preach Marxist propaganda because this is all Marxist propaganda to turn, to, to, to re invert reality and call your opponents what you are. You, sir, are the fascist. You, sir, are the racist. And you maybe drink piss. I don't know. I don't know you. It's a possibility. You never know what people's kinks are, and I'm not going to kink shame because, hell, I have my own kinks probably. Bottom line, they don't care about connecting with people, just like the creatives in Hollywood don't care about care of care care about creating characters, creating stories to connect with people. These people consider us the plebes, the peons, the lower echelon, the ground level knuckle dragging morons. They think we need to be told what is good and that their opinion is better than ours. They don't want channels like mine to talk about games because I'm genuine. I'm playing the game in front of you. I'm talking to you as I'm playing it. I'm doing the reviews. I'm not hiding anything. I'm honest with you. I'm straightforward. These people are liars. These people are elitists. They don't want to know you. They don't want to connect to you. They simply want you to obey. Obey. That is the Marxist tenant. Obey. Do what we say. Don't have free thought. They don't want you to have free thought. They want you to follow along and listen to them and just be a good little obedient plebe. We don't have to follow G4. We don't have to listen to the Hollywood elites. We don't have to do anything they tell us. We are free thinkers. We have opinions. We can come to conclusions ourselves. I give you evidence, facts, and logic separate from feelings so that you can make your opinion based upon what I'm telling you. You don't have to agree with me. I don't, I don't demand that you agree with me. You watch the end of all my videos. I always say you are free to have a different opinion than me. I am sure if we're normal people, we can then find some common ground because normal people can have different opinions and still get along. I have good friends who I have different opinions on stuff with. We will fight, we will argue, but then we'll switch topics and everything is fine because we're normal. We are not SJW elitists. We are not stands who demand that you conform to the hive mind. Do not listen. Hollywood elitists who are SJWs at the same time do not listen to these so-called gaming elitists because these are not real gamers. They're SJWs. They're identitarians. They're intersectional feminists. They want you to obey their dogma. And when you don't, they're going to call you every other name in the book. And I'm going to bring this up right here. I couldn't find the video anymore because I saw this last night. So full disclosure, I took this from a screen grab from Jeremy's Geeks and Gamers video from yesterday while he was commenting on this live when it was happening or did a video while it was live. This is just a screen cap of the chat from his video because I couldn't find visual evidence. Look at what they do right here. These are supposed to be their fan base, their fans. Chats. Open chats where you should have some freedom of expression. If you're a good channel, you let your chat talk. You let your chat interact with you and with each other because it creates an environment of fun and, 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 and connectivity. My chats and my streams are open. You can say whatever you want. As long as you don't say the naughty stuff, then my mods will give you the ban hammer. You get one warning, then you get the ban hammer. But that's only if you misbehave. If you're simply talking crap about me, that's allowed. 
But G4, obviously, these deleted messages you see here, you're not allowed to break from the party line. If you talk bad, if you, if you report anything that breaks from what they want you to believe, what you're supposed to obey and follow, your message will be deleted. You will be shunned. You will be attacked. What does this sound like? This sounds like SJW mentality. This sounds like how they behave with Disney Star Wars, how the Disney Star Wars stands, how Disney Lucasfilm attacks the fans because they didn't like their product. People are not happy with this G4 TV product relaunch. And what's happening? There's talking back. And what is G4 doing like good little SJW Marxists? They are deleting comments. They are not letting freedom of speech happen. Chats should be free speech platforms because the fans are the lifeblood of everything. I've said that before. I said it during my whole Cowboy Bebop stuff. Fans are the lifeblood of everything. Respect the fans. Give them what they ask for. Treat them fairly. Let them speak their mind. If you, and then you can debate them. Fans are happy to have debates because. We want to be connected to what we love. You silence fans, you are the enemy. G4 TV is the enemy. Hollywood elitists are the enemy. They don't care what you think. They hate you. They hate me. They hate anybody that criticizes their SJW, Marxist, left-wing, what's the other one? Okay, intersectional feminists. It's, it's so many terms I lose track. They don't want you to, to, to contradict, to criticize their agenda, their narrative. And when you do, they'll try to cancel you. Guess what? We ignore them. We don't pay attention to them. If we call them out, if we shine, the disinfectant that is sunlight on them, they can't win because they have no power. They're just words on a screen. We have the power. We are the fans. We are the customers. Hail to the fans. Hail to the customers. Hail to everybody fighting back against this SJW tide of hate. All right, I'm done. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, a like would be appreciated. If you're new here, I invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can, you're going to find my straightforward, honest takes because I'm here to earn your trust and support. Not here to be everybody's friend. So if your fifis get hurt, Hit the notification button, share my videos if you like what I'm preaching, and please comment. Comments are the best thing you can do, even if you don't disagree with me. As I said before, you can have a different opinion. That's just fine. We can still find common ground because we are normal people. We are not stands or SJWs who are cowards behind keyboards. I don't care what they think, and I will never care what they think. Because as soon as the rest of the world realizes that if we don't pay attention to them, they will lose all their power. Thank you again for watching this video. Take it easy. Thanks for watching, everyone. I don't do Facebook. I will never do Twitter. If you want to reach out to me, email me at therednerd at gmail.com. I'm on Getter now, at the Red Nerd, the Geeks and Gamers forums under at ROAS, and you can also follow me on Odyssey at the Renaissance Nerd. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy.